turning back to that new city vaccine mandate. It means business owners must pivot once again. Plus, come January 3rd, they need to ensure they have the staff to check vaccine cards. Casey Cronus live tonight with more reaction. Casey. Corey and Don, people we spoke with here in Lincoln Square say the mandate does not come as a shock. In fact, some are surprised it didn't happen sooner. Chicago's new vaccine mandate will bring change for many businesses and patrons in the new year. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. We have to do something. This is getting out of control. But some establishments were just waiting for others to follow suit. It creates a kind of sense of security, I think, for people who are already vaccinated and want to be around in spaces that they know other people are vaccinated as well. Jerry Sandwiches in Lincoln Square has had signs posted since August, letting patrons know they must be vaccinated to dine there. The general manager says matching up the name on a customer's license with their vaccine card has been a smooth process. If they are vaccinated, it's really quick. Sam Toya, president and CEO of the Illinois Restaurant Association, said in part, Chicago's hospitality community is in a very fragile stage of recovery. We encourage all diners to please lend their cooperation, respect and kindness to the employees working to comply with the new mandate during these challenging times. Some businesses facing challenges before the mandate takes effect. Two music venues, Hideout Inn and Empty Bottle, are among the businesses closing down down until the end of the month, citing the swift spread of the virus. Meantime, Rob Carr heads the Illinois Retail Merchants Association and says obstacles that will come with the mandate include how customers may react. Uh, I think the important part will be, though, that if you have a situation where someone's inside and they become difficult, that we will need support of the city in that in that instance. Looking ahead, Carr says it's possible the mandate may expand to Cook County. At 11 tomorrow morning, the city will hold the first of several webinars for business owners looking for some guidance on the mandate. We have a registration link on our website. Live in Lincoln Square, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.